Hi, welcome to GG Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy, no bake, meal foie dessert that is perfect for the summer. Layers of flaky sweet puff pastry are sandwiched between silky vanilla creme patissiere and light fluffy cream. Let's top with a crown of crispy flaky cinnamon pastry. This dessert is so delicious, it will have everyone wanting more. And it's so easy, you can let your kids do it and you'll still end up with a beautiful, delicious masterpiece. So let's get started. I love this dessert. The first time I had this was when we were in Cyprus many, many years ago. And every time we go back, I always look for this dessert, but I can never find it. But I know the recipe, so it's all good. So to make this recipe as easy as possible and make it no bake, I use puff pastry fingers fingers biscuits um, but if you cannot find these puff pastry biscuits you can make your own it's super easy all you do is get some pre-rolled puff pastry and cut it to the size of the biscuits you want then sprinkle over with some icing sugar and put them in the oven for about 20 minutes until they are nice and golden like this then leave them to cool and then you can use them for your dessert to make this dessert no bake, you can buy creme patissiere or um, pre-made custard, but I prefer to make my own creme patissiere because I think it tastes better than the ones from the shops. And the ones from the shops, they've got this like fake sweetness to it, which I don't like, but my one is super delicious. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Plus, I give you so much detail and show you step by step that I guarantee you when you make it, you will have delicious, creamy creme patissiere, guaranteed. Go and watch it after you watch this video, go and watch it and you'll see just how easy and how tasty and salty it looks. Once you've got your puff pastry biscuits ready and your creme patissiere ready, or your custard, whip up some fresh cream, and then it's time to start layering. I like to use a glass dish for my milkware so you can see all the layers, and when you present it to your guests or your family, they'll be like, mmm, that looks good, because you can see everything that's there. And also I like to have a square dish, or a rectangular dish will work, because then my biscuits fit in nicely. All we have to do is just like cut, or, like, or break it off and they'll fit nicely. Whereas if you've got a round dish, you have to start breaking it and fiddling around, it just makes a big mess. And we want to make no bake. So if we're making no bake, quick, easy, simple, we don't want to be wasting our time afterwards tidying up. We want it to be no bake, quick, simple, time to chill out, relax, and eat our dessert. As I said earlier, this dessert is super easy. You can let your kids do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my girls show you just how quick, simple, and easy it is to make and what masterpiece they're gonna produce when they're finished. Also, this is a great way for you to spend time as a family in the kitchen or together, have so much fun. Plus, imagine if you're having guests over and then your children actually make this dessert. Imagine how proud your children are going to be when they get to serve it up to everyone and say that they've actually created this beautiful masterpiece and not only is it beautiful but it's also going to be tasting delicious so let's get them into the kitchen okay are you not ready yes uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and sit and play yes yeah we're, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go and play and you're gonna make us nice dessert yeah high five high five high five, high five. That's it, and this one? Yeah, let's go and play. So first, you grab your biscuit at the bottom layer of your, your tray. Don't forget to put the custard. Okay, so now add your some of your custard onto your biscuit. So there's a nice amount of custard on it, so it gives you a beautiful flavour. I see a gap, please. Okay, fill it in. One more. Okay. <laughs> it's like we're making a, a bed. Mm. It looks like a bed. Mm. Now we need another layer of biscuits. It looks so delicious. Mm. Make sure they're all in line. Now we need some cream. We need to cut the bowl too. <laughs> all over it. I'm going to spread it. Shall I spread it for you because it looks a bit... Cream okay, looks so good. Need to save some for the next. Oh, you're missing a bit. Oh. Now go from here and go up. Oh my days! You're making the. This is a big mess. Are you help, please. 
Okay. Okay, so here. Okay. Right, I sing a cake. Sing a cake. <gasps> you broke it. Okay, this time we're gonna go like this, Alana. <gasps> oh no, the biscuits! Okay. Let's pretend none of that even happened. <laughs> Then add a thin layer of custard. Whoa. Crumble the rest of your extra biscuits around your dessert. I'm very good at dusting it, Alana. Do some over there. A bit more. Here. <gasps> some over here. Here. And last bit here. Now add some of your cinnamon into your icing sugar and sieve it all around your dessert. Then put your dessert in the fridge for one hour. Now it's time for me dig in. Mm. Yeah. So good. This cake is delicious. And there's so much texture in this cake. You get the smoothness from the cream and the custard. Then you get crunchiness from the puff pastry. The puff pastry is crunchy on the inside. But on the outside, we have a bit soggy, you know, when you have pie and it's a bit soggy on the outside. So good. You get the sweetness from the creme patissiere but then it balances out perfectly with the cream because we've added no um, sugar to the cream and then you add the cinnamon on the top adds a little bit of spice to it and it's so tasty this is so good because it's so delicious with all the flavors and textures dropped another fork <laughs> This dessert is so good because it's so quick and simple to make and you can do it in about 10 minutes if you have everything ready and you don't even have to bake anything, but that ain't the best bit. The best bit is this. It's so tasty. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share. And if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos, please subscribe below. So until next time, bye.